Hey, let's check in on our Nano Lagoon today. It is Thursday, the 5th of February, and the last time we checked our Nano Lagoon was Sunday, the 1st of February. That was Super Bowl Sunday. And remember the diatom bloom that we saw on the rocks and sand? We had a really nice classic diatom bloom going in there, and the rocks were just brown with diatoms, and so was the sand. We added on that day a Nano Lagoon cleanup crew consisting of snails and amphipods and uh, some beneficial worms and some mini stars. And they've been working on the rocks and the sand for the past five days. And look at what they have accomplished. Those rocks look almost clean. Now there are still some diatoms on the rocks and the cracks and crevices and in the sand. And that's a good thing because if there are nutrients available, those diatoms will rapidly reproduce and in order to do that they need to take up dissolved nitrogen and dissolved phosphorus so they're performing a, a a nutrient scrubbing process of course we have a great population of bacteria in there there are protozoans and now our cleanup crew is in there consisting of snails and worms and pods and stars and so forth and we've got a nice little ecosystem started the beginnings of a food chain and uh, this is just very exciting and it hasn't taken very long. Now the other thing we've done is put in a proper artificial light hood. This is the DIY, the do-it-yourself project that we described in a previous video. Those are two 20-watt Coralife bulbs, 50-50 bulbs, giving a total of 40 watts per gallon. And this is the hood, nice finished appearance. and. The reef tank is looking great. It has a nice blue glow, the way you should get from a reef tank, and we have the confidence of knowing that we have patiently established the beginnings of our marine ecosystem, and everything is proceeding as it should.